Okay, so we got the uh, Opel Astra uh, brought into us uh, today, and um, lo and behold, we start the car up and it runs perfectly. <laughs> we drove the car around the block, not a problem with it, um, and then we done a, a scan on the system, no error codes. Um, so we're kind of a little bit of a puzzle with what to do with this car, so we started it back up again, and it ran like dirt. I mean, black smoke coming out, barely oiling, um, and it logged um, a fault code um, with the system. Um, so <clears throat> we've uh, taken a fuel sample, the diesel is fine, so we're ruling out a, a fuel issue. We can't rule out maybe injector problem, but um, with the fault code that it's registered, uh, we reckon that there's probably a, an issue. We're gonna look at the EGR valve on the actual car. So I'm gonna take it over and I'm gonna show you um, what, we, uh, what we found with it and what we're gonna test, okay? We're doing a diagnostic scan of the um, Astra and it's shown a error code P2279. So it's uh, seen an air induction uh, system uh, component leaking. So we've had a look at the car. We've done a fuel sample. So uh, the diesel is fine. And um, we've had a look at the air filter. Air that's fine. It hasn't collapsed. There's no blockages in the air intake that we can see. The swear flaps are operating as they should do according to the diagnostics. So what I'm reckoning is that the, the car is being, um, it's basically like it's been starved. Um, of oxygen, but I think it's happening the other way. I think the EGR valve is actually sticking and uh, creating back pressure in there. It's, it's thrown all them exhaust gases in and idle, <clears throat> and the car can't cope, um, and that's why we're getting all that black smoke. So we're gonna go and have a look at the EGR valve and see what it's doing. There's two, two tests I'm gonna do. I'm gonna block it off. Um, I'm just gonna show you how to do that, and then we're gonna run the test on the diagnostics as well. So let's go have a look. Okay, so some EGR valves are very difficult to get at. This one isn't too bad. It's right here. Uh, four bolts in the back and two bolts that go down here. I've already removed it. So that's your EGR valve there. Um, this is your, your solenoid valve, which commands it to open and close. Just right in, in there. It's very difficult to see, but that's the little valve and it opens and closes when it's commanded. Um, so basically what we done was, um, this pipe runs up from the exhaust and what we do is we made a gasket to come over to block it off. And um, so there's no exhaust gases coming into the engine. And then we ran the vehicle and it ran perfectly, no problems. Um, so what we reckon is, as I said, that EGR valve is actually sticking on, on nearly 100%. We're gonna confirm it now with the diagnostics. Um, but yeah, if you blank that off, it's obviously not a, a long-term fix. It's just for diagnostic purposes. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna command this to open and close and we'll see if it actually does it. So this is our diagnostics here. As you can see, we have, um, we're under the uh, sunlight valve exhaust exa gas recirculation. Um, it's saying it's at 4%. It gives your battery voltage and your air mass intake. And we're gonna go over here and right hand side and press proceed. And you'll see, sorry, start. And it goes through its cycle. So 50% um, open, closed. And it'll go through that process um, and obviously you visually will hear the solenoid operating, which we're not, um, and you will also uh, physically look to see if it's, if it's operating. So let's see what it looks like. We'll do this again um, and I'll show you. That's your valve there now. Um, I'm gonna command it, start. So 4%, 50%, 0%, closed. And as you can see there, the valve is not operating, it's gone back to 50%, and it'll go through that cycle, um, that process for a couple of seconds. As you can see there, the valve is not operating, you can't even hear the solenoid uh, going, so, um, plus the fact that we've got right in there on the, um, the solenoid, I reckon this has come out of a scrap car, so I'm happy enough to condemn this EGR valve, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put a new one in. I'm gonna connect it up um, and um, show you the valve opening and closing as it should do, okay. Okay, so there's our brand new shiny EGR valve. That's the valve down there. So let's command it to open. So we'll do start. 50%. Closed. 50%. Closed. So as you can see there, that's the way it's supposed to operate and look how nice and clean that is. So yeah, the EGR valve was, was gone on this. We'll put this all back together and that should uh, get the customer back on the road and uh, keep them happy and not be killing the person behind them with uh, smoke and fumes. So 
there you go. So as you've seen there, um, it's a simple enough test to do. Some EGR valves are a little bit more complicated and are a lot more awkward to gain access to. That one was quite easy to gain access to it. Um, so we're gonna put the new one back in and um, then get this car go through. If they also want to get the car serviced, so we'll do that as well while it's in. So that's a big chunk of the problem solved. EGR valve is gonna go in and um, they be, should be happy enough with that. So um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, we'll see you again on the next one.